All right, everyone. So there we go. Thousand bucks. First hour. Not bad. Enjoy the recap. We've got um, some good trades today on FUV, CGIX, and KNSA. Uh, those are the three that I was watching. And uh, as always, questions, comments, leave them right down below. All right, everyone, so um, here we are. It's 10 a.m. I am done trading for the day. So 30 minutes of trading, $1,377.32. Not bad at all. Interestingly, today, the biggest winner was on a stock that had no news. Um, you know, this is kind of the funny thing with the market. KNSA and CGIX were both on my watch list. Uh, CGIX, I made 320 on. KNSA, I made 31 on. So these two, if we look at the watch list uh, pre-market, I'll go here, time frame, historical date, and we'll just run this for 9.25 a.m. So at 9.25 a.m., CGIX was the leading gapper, 1.7 million shares of volume, 1.6 million share float. It's a former runner. It's a stock that I've traded in the past, I've done uh, fairly well on. Has room up to 7.20, the 200 moving average. But pre-market, it already had a high of 680 and was starting to pull back. And I think one of the things that was really driving this one higher was the fact that ARAV had made this really big move pre-market, similar. But then ARAV started to sell off. And so CGIX right out of the gates kind of followed suit and, and sold off as well. My one trade on it, I only took one trade, and my one trade on it was right here for a break over VWAP. On that false breakout candle, I made 320 bucks. So I got in uh, at 5.03. The high of this candle right here was 5.11. And I thought if it broke 5.11, look at this thing. Talk about whipsaw. So 5.48 is the halt level. So that's squeezing out some short sellers. So, well, maybe I'll stick around and take a couple more trades. But um, gotta be careful, because that just dropped from you know, from a rip from 420 up to 520. So if you're getting in right here, you know, where's your stop? Back down here, I mean, midpoint? It's just a lot of risk. Um, however, the open uh, price here is, or the high a day is 589. So now I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe there'll be something here. I would say that what is happening right here is very simple. Short sellers are getting squeezed out. That's all this is. This isn't a strong long setup. Yeah, it's a break of VWAP, but you don't buy a stock at $5 that just bounced from 420. It's way too extended. Now this right here, this, my entry uh, at five uh, or 503, this was a good quality setup. It popped up to 519, 520. I sold at 515 and 517 because right now I'm focusing on taking base hits. All right, so I took my base hit. I figured I'd get back in if it breaks over 520, and then it flushed here all the way down to 440, and I was like, well, you know what? That's exactly why I'm taking base hits right now, because sometimes you just can't trust these stocks. So ba nice base hit on that. Um, and you, you know, as this rips up here and, and turns around, it, it, I, I would say at this point, now that it's halted, um, the setup would be, does it resume higher or lower? Now with 6.2 million shares of volume, it, it probably will open, I don't know, I mean, it, I'm not sure that's gonna open a whole lot higher. They often, with this amount of volume, open fairly flat because you have so much volume, you're not gonna have a huge imbalance between supply and demand. But if it breaks over 548, a break of 548 and then a quick rip up to 589, the high of day here, that's what I would look at, but be mindful that we've got very clear resistance on the daily chart right here at 720. So, I mean, we still have a ways to get to that level, but that's the spot to be to be mindful of. Um, so let me just put this over here for one second. So that was, um, uh, so we had that trade on um, CGIX right here. So made 320 on that one. And then my next trade was, um, Let's see, or my, actually, let's go back to the watch list. So CGIX um, right here, this was the first one, ARAV, and then KNSA. All right, so let's go back to KNSA. Okay, so KNSA right here, 
Um, this one is up 19% right now at 820. And it's kind of sad because it had a pretty nice pre-market chart and it looks really good for a break over nine. The bell rings and it sells off. But as it curls back up on this red to green move, I jumped in for the break of nine. Okay, now this was a little risky as well. And so I took only a thousand shares. It pops up to a high of 940 uh, and I sold half my position and then it drops right here down to 820 and I ended up stopping out um, as it dropped down and making only $31. So I was kind of offended by the stock by such a ridiculous drop. So then I wasn't inclined to get back in it right here because um, I just felt like the stock already slapped me in the face once. I, I don't need to go back for seconds. So that was KNSA. And then FUV wasn't on the gap scanner. FUV just hit the high day momentum scanner right here. Um, it was just ripping up. And when it first hit at 250, I was like, eh, I don't know. You know, it went, well, let me just go back. So it first hit around 260, 250, only 100,000 shares of volume. I was like, ah, this one's not gonna get me. This, this looks like a trap. And that was sort of down in this area here. Um, and it moves up a little bit. There's like this little buy rating thing. This isn't really a strong catalyst though. Um, so then it rips up to three and I'm like, all right, the 200 moving average is at three, that's resistance. But I said, if it can break three and, and break 310, I'm interested. So before I took the trade, I told you guys, 310 is the spot where I'm a buyer. So you guys know before I'm taking these trades where I'm getting in. It hits um, 310 right here, it pulls back and boom, I'm in right there. So I jumped in right there, it rips up to 310, 318. Uh, and let me just keep an eye, I wanna watch this um, CGIX. So CGIX, um, the halt time on this was 10.04 and 29 seconds. So resumption should be 10.09 and 29 seconds. So we're about 30 seconds from resumption. So we'll switch over to that in one second. So on FUV, I got in at 310, out at 315. I got back in at around 320, out at 328. I got bit back in at 347, back out at 350, and I just kept getting in and out, in and out. CGIX, so let's watch this for a second. So if I take a trade on this, I would only trade with um, maybe 500 shares. So let me just take this down to 500, because I don't want to ruin a good day. So I'm gonna put my order up here at, um, so let's watch this for a second. I need to wait for a first, first pullback. We might double top against um, the pre-market, against the high of 89. Uh, so here's the thing. That didn't really give a pullback. You know what I mean? Like, And now look at that drop back down to 577. So this is me exercising the muscle of discipline. I love seeing this momentum, but I have to be disciplined in how I'm going to trade it. The high a day is now 35, so over 35 is a setup, but that feels like I'm getting in something that's really extended. So it feels like the risk there is a little too high. So this is gonna be one of those trades where I'm gonna end up most likely missing it. And we'll see as it pulls back now over on the one minute chart, you know, does it hold this level? Do we get a break of the, the pre-market high, which is 680? Do we get that rip up to seven? You know, let's let's keep an eye on it. Um, if I was being really aggressive, I could have just, I certainly could have just punched the buy button, but the open was 548. So we didn't open higher, we opened about flat and then it ripped right to 60, 70, 80, 90. And just like that, I mean, look guys, look at KNSA. Let's just look at that for a second. This is what can happen <laughs> when, um, when you chase a stock. If you were the person who bought this at 9.30, 9.40, that next candle can happen. So you always have to be thinking about risk. When you're thinking only about profit potential, you know, that's not really trading as much as it is gambling. And I say that, you know, from having a lot of losses where I was focused, um, you know, 100% on profit potential and not thinking about risk. And a trade like that with 2,000 shares I could have easily just given back my full $1,000 um, of profit on FUV. Drop 50 cents with 2,000 shares, that's it. So the high of this current candle is uh, 615. 
So generally on this, I would say, okay, if it can break over 615, you know, that starts to look interesting. Looking at the volume profile, we have light volume on these two red candles right now. Um, this candle is going to close in four seconds with a high of 615. So 615, um, generally speaking, would be a possible entry. Let's see what it does. So that's a false breakout right now and a short below six with a stop at 630. But um, I would be hesitant on hitting it to the short side because it is so close to pre-market high and it looks like it might rip up. So this is kind of grinding. It didn't give a really firm breakout on the first one minute candle to make a new high. So then I would probably say, well, high a day is 35. So I'm just gonna move my order up to 35. So I'll jump in there at 35 and my target would be a quick break of the half dollar. So I'm in at 31. But uh, see, just like that, guys, that's how quickly that can happen. And I, I'm, I'm okay with that, 35 was the high. But, you know, so I'm gonna have to stop out below 50 if it doesn't bounce off this level. So this is the example of a trade where, you know, thank goodness I'm mitigating the risk with small share size, but it, it didn't end up giving that quick resolution and it went the other way. So in, in this type of scenario, I'd watch to see if it bounces back up towards six. Maybe I can get out at six for $150 loss, but definitely a hard stop at the half dollar. So I'll take my loss there, whatever. But, you know, this is that, that type of situation of it's a false breakout, it's a little extended. And so you mitigate that risk with smaller share size. Now, if I had gone in that with 2000 shares right there, that, I mean, that would have been really devastating. Uh, just, just in the matter of, um, you know, three or four seconds like that, I would have given back my whole morning of profit. So this is a trade where I would say there was an opportunity, but the risk was higher mitigate the risk with smaller share size so you don't face the you know potential um, loss of giving back your entire morning of profit giving back three hundred dollars off the top i don't love that but i can live with it now of course here you know it's grinding back up a little bit but um that red candle is is going to be a tough one to recover from in my opinion because it's <laughs> i mean it's just like this one here it's a it's a red false breakout candle on high volume so the only place a short seller would set their stop would be at the high. So now that's up at 6.43. And you know, after uh, my first loss, um, I'm usually hesitant to go back into a stock. So like KNSA, I had the loss and I was like, nah, I don't wanna go back into it. On this one, now I've got that first loss. So I don't really wanna go back into it. Do I really wanna get right back in at 6.31, <laughs> having just lost 300 bucks? You know, it just doesn't feel super good to do that. So I'm just going to leave it alone and call it a day. But um, in any case, happy with $1,000. It's still a great day. It's twice the daily goal uh, trading with 2,000 shares. I basically got 50 cents per share on FUV and then kind of small chop break-even trades on KNSA and, and now on CGIX. But all's well, it ends well. So I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. And um, hopefully we see a continuation of this momentum because this is definitely giving us some really nice opportunities. It's great to see. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, did you know that I go live every single morning between 9 and 9.15 to stream my pre-market watch list? Subscribe to the channel, press the bell for the alert, and you'll get the notification.